Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about vitamin A and the symptoms of a vitamin A deficiency. So this is something that definitely, if you've got some of these symptoms you may have known about, but there are others that maybe you've never heard about. So the first one is interesting. So if you're that person who, when you see a bright light, so you're out in the dark and you see a bright light, like a deer in headlights who is stunned and you can't adjust and you can't get your sight back very quickly, that's a telltale sign of a vitamin A deficiency. So you may be that person who doesn't like night driving because in that darker environment and then somebody else's head-on headlights are get into your eyes and your eyes can't adjust very well, this could be a sign of that vitamin A deficiency. Another thing is those red bumps on the backs of the arms. This can happen on the backs of the legs and the buttocks as well. This is a telltale sign of a vitamin A deficiency and often a poor conversion of beta carotene into that active vitamin A, into that retinol, which is something that I talk about in another video. And this is very common in people who have low thyroid. So hypothyroidism, it's a common that there's a poor conversion of that active beta carotene into that active vitamin A. So something to be aware of. As well as dry eyes is another symptom of vitamin A deficiency. So something that I want you to be aware of. Another one in the eyes is the betot spots or beto spots. And this is something that it's a keratin buildup. And this represents a severe vitamin A deficiency. So it is that buildup of that keratin on the conjunctiva of the eyes. And it's really important that you are investigating for that vitamin A deficiency. Back in history, if you've ever heard of Hippocrates and you know physicians take the Hippocrates oath in terms of becoming a doctor. So he used to actually use the liver of animals, so goats and other animals and the blood of that animal, sorry, I hate to be graphic, and he would put it on the eyes for eye conditions. And we know that liver is a very high source of that preformed vitamin A, the retinol. So it's really interesting to note that in the history books, we know that, you know, intuitively, and this is how doctors used to work, they, they knew that certain, you know, things that they would use, whether it was herbal medicines or the parts of different animals, were very healing to different parts of our bodies. So something interesting that I learned about, you know, the history of eye conditions. Also dry skin. So if you're that person who has chronically dry skin, this can be related to a vitamin A deficiency, as well as acne and acne breakouts, especially if this is chronic, it's something definitely that you want to make sure that you're getting enough of that active vitamin A. Also, if your skin doesn't heal well, so if you have poor wound healing, maybe you cut yourself or you're injured and it doesn't heal very well, that can also be related to vitamin A deficiency. If you get sick a lot, so your immune system has a lot to do with your vitamin A status as well, especially sore throats and chronic chest infections, this is something that you definitely want to make sure that you have sufficient amounts of vitamin A. Also, allergies, so whether that's seasonal allergies, this could be allergies to things in your environment. It could also be, you know, even to your pets. This could be related to a vitamin A deficiency as well. Also memory. So our brain needs that active vitamin A and our nervous system. So if you have trouble remembering things and that memory just is not what it used to be, again, you want to make sure that you don't have a vitamin A deficiency. Now, what I've discussed in previous videos is the connection between having enough of that active retinol in our eyes to help with our melanopsin. So melanopsin is an opsin and this is a light sensing molecule in our eyes which helps with our circadian rhythms. So when we are lacking in vitamin A, this can really have a negative impact on our sleep schedules, on our ability to fall asleep, our melatonin levels, if we're lacking in that active vitamin A. As well as if you are that person who needs sunglasses at all times, even on 
the dullest and dreariest days, you still have that light sensitivity in your eyes. That could be an indication of a vitamin A deficiency as well. So I always recommend sensible use of, you know, not using sunglasses during the day, getting that natural sun in your eyes and doing this in a safe and healthy way is a great thing for your overall health. I talk a lot about this in other videos as well. So make sure you check those out. So I hope that you learned something new and making sure that you are on top of your vitamin A status. In another video, I'll talk about the best food sources of vitamin A. So make sure that you check that one out as well. If you do have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you below. So please put that in the comment section below. Also be sure to share this video and I appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. I love all the positive feedback that you share with me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and you click that bell so that you'll always be notified of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.